Welcome! There is a family of South African plants called Mesembryanthemaceae or Isioaceae, depending on the source. And this family is famous for plants that look like nothing else. They are very unique and they are extremely adapted to their habitat, to the Namib desert conditions. I have some examples from this family and I put on this table four of them. The most famous plants from this family are lithops or living stones, as they call them uh, sometimes. They are plants that are reduced to only two leaves. They are mimicking the shape and color of the stones, of the little pebbles on the Namib desert between which they grow. They are very beautiful, very interesting, and I have a few of them in my collection. Here is just one example. I also put here on this table a Fenestraria, which is equally interesting plant, where each leaf has a lens on its top, and through that lens the light penetrates the, the leaf and the photosynthesis um, is occurring on the inside of the leaf. Quite fascinating. And um, I also brought here a Focaria, which is a nice plant, maybe more, more conventionally uh, looking than the other two, but it is also a member from the Mesembryanthemaceae family. What I have here is my newest addition to my collection of Mesembryanthemaceae. This is Conophytum. I am quite happy I have it. I bought it online and it is nearly impossible to buy a Conophytum. They are two Conophytum calculus. I have always wanted to have a conophytum, and it is very difficult to buy them, if not impossible. These two were bought online. This is the only conophytum species that I found that I could buy even online. They have been with me since uh, October, I think. I think I got them in October. They survived the winter, which is, which is great, because they have a reputation to be extremely difficult plants to keep. Another another trying period will be the summertime when they will have to be watered, but not much, and they have to be they will go through a summer rest as well, and I will have to be careful not to dry them out completely, but not to make their roots rot if I water them too much. So quite a challenge. I'm looking forward to it. I will certainly be trying my best. However, only one conophytum calculus, only one. Uh, species of Conophytum was not enough for me and I also bought seeds. I bought quite many of them but I only but I have only sown them in three pots. Here is one pot and you have to really be very um, stretch your uh, imagination, let's put it this way, to see that there is a plant here and there is a plant, well, I don't, can't even find it. Somewhere here there is another, another plant that grew. In this pot, it's easier to spot them. Look, this is a plant, this is a plant, this is a plant, and here. And uh, there are at least six of them all together. And there is another pot when they have sprouted as well here and here and here so i am looking forward to them growing to see them grow i am quite excited that they sprouted i am following advice of someone who was successful growing them. I keep the pots in plastic bags right now. Um, as you can see, one of the, one of the pots, the one here, the pumice that, that we can see here, is a little bit, starting to be a little bit overgrown with algae. So I will have to aerate uh, the plants more. The plastic bag is a very useful tool to keep the air moist and at the same time not to have to water 
the substrate because too much water might kill the seedlings and uh, it's enough for them to take the moisture out from the air that they have uh, that they have around them and there is some moisture of course trapped in between the particles of the substrate these are my new additions to the Mesembriante Massi family collection that I have. It's not a very extensive collection. However, it's very precious and it's something that I, and, and these plants are plants that I particularly like. They are so uh, unique, so unusual. They are like nothing else. Their beauty lies in their extreme adaptation to extreme environment, to the extreme environment. And that's why they are so difficult to keep at home because it's very difficult to recreate those extreme conditions in, uh, on the windowsill or in a greenhouse if someone is lucky to have one. Thank you very much for watching my video. I hope I will be able to show you my uh, new conophytum seedlings when they are not seedlings anymore, when they are thriving, when they are growing, and when they are more visible between the particles of the substrate. Have a great day!